Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys an advanced pop-up technique in Camtasia. Alright, so if you've watched my previous videos, if I end up figuring something out, something new on Camtasia, I'm going to create a video on it. And this is what happened when I was creating a promo video for a local security company here. So I'm going to show you the example right now, and then I'm going to show you how to do it in Camtasia. So this is like the middle of the promo video, and you're going to see a bunch of logos pop up on the screen. Now, it's easy enough to add a pop-up effect on a logo or a picture or whatever, but I want to show you what I mean when I play the video and I'm going to explain how to do it. Working with customers such as the City of Vancouver, Costco, AWM Alliance's Real Estate Group, Ricky's Restaurant, and Van City Bank. Okay, so you see this layout here of logos. You saw how the logos were already there. And then when the lady was saying the logo, like she said, City of Vancouver, this one did like a pop-up thing. Now, normally when you add a behavior, it's going to do the pop-up thing from the very beginning and then it's going to pop out at the very end. So I'm going to show you how I was able to figure out how to do this exact technique. I'll show you quickly one more time on the screen. Working with customers such as the City of Vancouver, Costco, AWM Alliance's Real Estate Group, Ricky's Restaurant, and Van City Bank. So they stay on the screen, they do their little action bit, and then they still stay on the screen. So I will show you that here in Camtasia. I'm just gonna go and grab a bunch of like emoticons or just like emoji pictures. And to do that, I'm going to head into the library and then I'm gonna go into the Camtasia 2018 and then let's go under icons and let's see what icons we can choose. What's under social media? No, let's choose more like something more like funny. Okay, here, let's choose these people here. All right, so let's lay out a bunch of people here on screen. I'm actually just going to change the background first to white because I feel like these colors are going to be dark. So I'm just going to grab this. Put it here, make it bigger. This is just so that you guys can see the pictures a lot easier. Okay, so let's grab this person. And I'm just randomly choosing some people. Okay. And then four. Okay, so let's have four. And then I'm going to highlight them and then just make them a little bit smaller because they're too big for the screen. Okay, and then I'm going to separate them. Put that one there, there, there. Oh, and then there. Okay, so they're all lined up here. Usually, when you add a behavior, it's going to do it from the very beginning, and I'll show you what I mean here. So the effect that I added on there was the, I, th I believe it was the, the pop-up effect, or it might have been the scale, but it really doesn't matter which effect that you choose. Um, let's just see the scale one. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so it was the, the scale one that I used for the logos. So you can see that I added the effect, and if I go all the way to the beginning, it's not showing up because the effect, the behavior, sorry, when I say effect, behaviors it's basically action that's ha that you're adding to a picture or media or whatever so you see this man number one it's gone because i've added a, a scale behavior on it and it's not going to pop up until that behavior the animation starts going so now it shows up but 
I want it to show up, like I want it to be there already on the screen and then for it to pop up, like in the logo situation. Because the, the lady, she's only mentioning like four or five logos, I didn't want there to be blank spots of logos and then those specific logos pop up. I wanted all logos to be on screen and then to be highlighted as the lady was saying each logo. So that's what we want to do here as well. So I'm going to click X and I'm going to get rid of this behavior. And this is how you do what I was just talking about. So you want to play just a little bit of it. Nothing's happening. Now let's say something is being mentioned over here. You want to go over to the logo image picture of what you want to do a pop out effect. And you want to click the split key. You want to split that because you need to cut off when it starts. If you do not and you just place the behavior on it, then it does it for the entire clip. So now that I've split it, I'm going to add the scale behavior and it's only going to do it now at this time, but the man is going to stay there until, until it pops up, until that split there, then it's going to pop up. So I'll play it now playing, then it's going to pop up. Now you can control other aspects of this if you don't want it to keep moving or anything. You go to during and right now it's selected as none so it's not going to do anything. And if you don't want it to disappear again, because if you go to the end here, it's going to end up like shrinking and disappearing, then you can also click none if you don't want anything to happen and you just want it to highlight on screen exactly like how I did for the logos. And then you can go and do it again here. Let's say this lady right here, we want that to happen there. So I click the S key to split it. Then I add the scale behavior. And then she's still going to stay on screen, but she's going to pop up at that mark. So I'm just going to play the video. He's going to pop up and then she's going to pop up. Now you can change, you can change the things that are happening with the tension so you can lower this so you can sort of see what you want to have it at. At the base it's at 5, I usually just leave it but if you don't want it to go too crazy then you can lower it down for sure but I'll just leave it at 5. And yeah, I recently figured this out when I was doing that promo video because we wanted those logos to stay on, but then whenever I would add the behavior, it would remove it, and I knew that there would be a way to do this, and that's when you split the actual media, the actual logo media, and then add the behavior later on when you want it to happen. All right, guys, well, that is it for this video. That is how you do an advanced pop-up technique on your videos. If you guys like these videos, you guys can head down to the description below as I have a bunch more free tutorials for you guys. And if you want to check out the Camtasia software, you can also head down there. I have the link for that as well. So if I was able to help you out at all, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Back, back, back from the dead.